Sold. Bidding has been fierce at the Impressionist and Modern Art auctions in New York City this week. On Tuesday, Sotheby sold this Modigliani nude for $69 million. And the following evening, Christie sold this Matisse sculpture for $48.8 million, breaking the artist's auction record. Christie's Connor Jordan. Um, we had strong results throughout for masterpieces that were fresh to the market. and. It showed the demand and high confidence there is in the marketplace at the moment for, for the very best. Many of the top lots were bought by dealers and galleries, a sign they believe the art market is on the upswing. Eileen Kinsella is the editor of Art Newsletter. The art market has taken off again despite uncertainty about the broader economy. I mean, we've, we've sort of watched it happen and questioned, like, is this real? Is it, is it sustained? And it does seem to be on an upward trend. Buying art can be lucrative. The Modigliani nude that sold for $69 million had been bought for just $17 million a decade ago. That's a pretty hefty return, but investing in art is not without its risks. It's tricky in the sense that connoisseurship is a, is a big part of it. You can't just buy a painting, spend a ton of money on it, and think that it's, it's going to go up. There's so many factors at play, which is you know freshness to the market, uh, provenance, which is the history of ownership. If collectors know that it was owned by a major or prestigious private collection beforehand, it gives the work a cachet that it might not otherwise have. Yep. And that cachet appears to be on full display with global investors willing to part with their cash. Demand for upcoming contemporary art is expected to be even stronger. Bobby Rebel, Reuters.